Hi, and welcome to the Balancing Act Local Edition. I'm Anto Williams. We're bringing you community stories and introducing you to businesses and influencers who are making a difference. So let's see who's making news right here in your neighborhood. On this episode of The Balancing Act, a nonprofit who is helping in the fight against poverty, custom built choppers and trikes, tips for improving brain health, plus lots more. Today on The Balancing Act. Dallas, Texas is thriving. And like many big cities, a large part of the community experiences disproportionate poverty. Let's see how City Square, a nonprofit organization offering solutions for housing, food, health services, is using proven methods to address both the causes and effects of poverty. Did you know that 60% of all Americans are one paycheck away from poverty? By addressing the key areas related to the persistence of poverty and a person's access to basic needs, City Square is making a difference and changing lives. The mission of City Square is to fight both the causes and effects of poverty, and we do that by serving people, by advocating for them, and most importantly, by being their friend. City Square helps people who are battling economic insecurity, don't have access to affordable health care, access to affordable housing, or even access to food resources. And so we want to make sure that we provide that here at City Square. City Square believes whether you are experiencing poverty, volunteering your time, or donating resources, everyone has a voice and a role in the fight against poverty. Many assume that people are homeless because of their poor life choices. Oftentimes, many are just one crisis away, whether that be losing their job, experience a trauma, having medical issues or debt, which often causes individuals to have to choose between their health and housing expenses. There is domestic violence or even a divorce. And so really it's about the difference between our neighbors don't have a social support when those experiences happen to be able to deal with it that leads to them being homeless. Another misconception is about that people want to be homeless or they don't want help. And so it's really about neighbors have given up on the system and kind of lost hope. City Square's homeless outreach team really comes in and builds rapport with our neighbors to start bringing them hope back into their lives. We have a food pantry, we have health and wellness programs we have affordable housing, and City Square really believes in the housing first model, and so it's housing is a right and not a reward. So the idea is to get people into housing and then we can start working on all of the things that they may have going on. We provide intensive case management on site. We provide life skills classes, even behavioral health counseling, and are really there with them walking through the journey so they can be successful. When people are empowered with opportunity, fairness, and hope, incredible things can happen. It feels great to be sober. Life is, is good. My worst days on this side is still better than my best days as a drug addict. I know that had I not encountered City Square, my life would have been over a long time ago. Now my goal in, in life is to go back in to stir up the hope in other men that there's a possibility, there is a way out, there is hope. And that's where City Square has done for me. It gave me hope again. I try to get here at least once a month to go to the food pantry. Being homeless, no job, you know, it's, it's hard to find nutrition. Very friendly people, very helpful. City Square is an awesome organization. We are a community. We serve alongside one another. We are friends with our neighbors and we walk with them through life, through life's most challenging times especially at times where they don't know what to do or where to turn. We're here for them. We believe that everyone has a role in the fight against poverty. And we are so thankful to our community of supporters, especially our donors, our volunteers, and our corporate sponsors for joining us in the fight against poverty. Kimberly Clark is a 151-year-old consumer products company with our global headquarters based right here in Dallas, Texas. Our work is driven by our purpose, which is to provide better care for a better world. As an employee, that means that we strive to improve the lives of our consumers, but also strengthen the communities where we live and work. We do that in a variety of different ways, either through partnerships with nonprofits, through global volunteerism, or through product donations, all with the focus to help those in need. Poverty rarely attacks people in just one way, by fighting back with comprehensive services and advocating for equal access to housing, food, and health. 
City Square is making a difference in Dallas. We are here for the long haul, for however long our neighbors need us to be. But we hope that there's a future where City Square will no longer be needed because we would have already solved poverty. To learn more about City Square, visit the website at citysquare.org or see this segment again on thebalancingact.com. Looking for a little inspiration? Take a look at this. Life is a highway, and if you're interested in a different sort of ride, put on your helmets and let's hit the open road. We're V8 choppers. We build and sell powerful, exciting motorcycles and trikes. We sell them all over the world, and it is our passion to do what we do. We build a custom chopper, two-wheel chopper bike. All of our products have a V8-powered engine. We also build a hot rod trike. We are currently building a road trike with bags and fairing. We also do a new road trike with fairing, stereo, independent rear suspension and such, which is pretty much top of the line for a trike. Uh, the company has been in business for 20 years. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> Stan started in the insurance business, but he decided to follow his heart when he started V8 Choppers. Like he said, it's been a ride. We sell our product directly to the end user. We're a small volume manufacturer. We go to trade shows across the country, mostly uh, Sturgis every year in Daytona, Bike Week in Daytona. And we meet a lot of people from all over the world there and of course statewide. It was pretty cool that they kind of delivered those three choppers that went to Austria. Yeah. That's always neat. And we, we sell them all over the world, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of cool that we still have a relationship with the people even though they're across the pond. Their team members are motorcycle and trike enthusiasts who want the best for their customers. Jake is so loyal, he ran the company for five months while Stan was in the hospital. I have to, you know, give credit to all the people that work with me because, it, you know, no man is an island to himself, so it's, it's just so true. Um, what he does, what Colton does, what Butch and Julian does, I mean, I honest, honestly thought it was a pretty good mechanic until these guys come along, and uh, I know nothing. <laughs> They build lifelong friendships and relationships, and everyone is treated like family. We don't just sell a motorcycle, we resell a relationship. And our customers, it's almost like a family. When a new customer comes in, each existing customer welcomes them in, and they're confident that if there is ever an issue or a problem, that we have their back no matter what. To ensure that we keep the high level of quality on our motorcycles, each of us ride the motorcycles. Um, we have a checklist in place of each individual things that we want to keep track of. Each one of our technicians, uh, we are a high level of technician. Our service work is very thorough. Our building process, we have checklists in place there to keep everything just flowing good and the level of quality very high. So whenever we receive a used model of chopper or trike, we always bring it back to the shop and we do any updates that our new ones have that the older one may not. We always have a, a checklist that we run through of different oil levels, coolant levels. We check the tires, make sure they're up to date and in good condition, all the pressures are correct. Uh, it's a very thorough process that we run through to make sure that the customer is getting the high quality that we expect and they're happy with the product when they receive it. Like I said, this is the seventh one. Uh, they tried out the fuel injection. Uh, he just wasn't a fan of the fuel injection, so we swapped it out, put a new carburetor on it, and so um, I'm just filling it up to gas for get the gas to fire her off, see if, how, how he's going to like it. So bring her back to old school. All right. We always believe that we don't want to be big, we just want to be great. So in doing that, we're, we're not really interested in pumping out as many motorcycles as we can. We want to pump out the best motorcycle that we can. While their products might not be for beginners, they can be easy to master. One of the largest misconceptions we feel about our product is that because it's a little larger in size than the average bike, people think it'll be difficult to manage. Well, it's just the opposite. It's actually a very easy to manage bike. The center of gravity is more important than the weight of a bike. The center of gravity is more important for a trike in cornering than the width of the trike. 
Whether you ride the trike across town or you ride it across country, it's really an individual's choice. We have products that's designed to go across country and be a little more comfortable, place to carry your things, maybe even pull a trailer if you like. And then we have the hot rod trike and the hot rod chopper, and they are just uh, awesome for fun. However, we've had people to ride them across country. It's just not conducive because there's no place for storage or luggage or anything like that. And more women are buying them these days. Women are smarter, work harder, and live longer than most men. They make 85% uh, of all purchasing decisions and hold over 50% of the jobs in our country. And you can really see that with our trikes because we have more women riding our trikes every year. My advice for beginner riders is definitely start on a trike. With no layoffs in 20 years and plenty of community involvement, they're doing something right and customers are noticing. They love to hear their customers say, wow. Our customers, we feel like, are some of the coolest people in the world. We don't have famous customers. They're just famous to us. I've always said that many things will catch your eye. Only a few things will catch your heart. I've heard that at some point in my life. Motorcycles is that for me. Motorcycles catch my eye, and they also grab my heart. They pull on my heartstrings, and it's just a deep-rooted passion. As an employer, you know, you have to compete against other employers for employees. Um, I don't like to compete against other employers. I like to win hands down. So I give my employees benefit packages. One of the benefits that they get here, they can take a chopper out and go for a ride whenever they like, on their own time, on the weekend, that's up to them. There's been many instances where I've taken a motorcycle on uh, my own time and taken rides and we've rode together as a company on rides. Uh, we've rode in a lot of different very cool places like Tale of the Dragon in the Carolinas. We did that as a company. Uh, we've had a lot of great experiences on our bikes. So we're not selling just a motorcycle, we're selling a relationship and you're being welcomed into a family. So to join our family, come meet us at VA Choppers. We like to say it's not a motorcycle, it's a V8 chopper. To understand what we mean by that, you almost need to ride it and experience it for yourself. For more information about V8 choppers, go to v8choppers.com. You can also visit our website, thebalancingact.com. Mental health awareness is increasing, and our next story highlights just how important it is. The brain is the control center of the body, responsible for regulating all vital functions. Taking care of your brain health, as you do for other body parts, is crucial to slowing the aging process. We must learn how to train the brain to work for us, enabling us to meet our personal and professional goals. The brain is amazing. The brain's not fully developed until you're in mid to late 20s. The 30s are rocking, the 40s start to plateau, the 50s, eh, maybe you start to have a little bit of cognitive impairment. The 60s, you start to have a little bit bigger issues. So as the brain ages, it changes. The brain has a philosophy, use it or lose it. And when you're not using those neural pathways, they just start to shut down. We don't think about our brain as being an organ, just like the heart. The largest organ we have is our skin. And as we age, because our skin mirrors our age, we spend a lot of time and a lot of attention to what we look like. The brain reflects your age as well. At the Brain Performance Center, we try to work on the conscious level with cognitive behavioral therapy. We also do some executive functioning coaching. And all of that's just thinking about what you remember, how you process information. And then we also work on the subconscious level. And that's how the brain is wiring and firing. And we do that with neurofeedback. We do that by creating neuroplasticity in the brain. We try to train the brain into a regulated state. I think most people can benefit from the services that we offer. We work with people that suffer from depression and anxiety and ADHD. And then you have people that just want to take their brain up a level and they want to improve their performance, whether that's at work or within their personal life with their relationships. Everybody's brain is going to get in a dysregulated state at some point in their life. Genetics, physical head trauma, emotional trauma, and stress. The good news is, is you can get that brain back into a regulated state. Many factors can affect brain health, including diet, 
exercise, sleep, stress, social connection, and mental stimulation. When you wake up, and you feel like you're in a brain fog and you just can't get the brain going. Or if you wake up and emotionally you feel fatigued or overwhelmed, you need to train that brain. Get that brain into that regulated state. There are four things that put a brain in a dysregulated state. One is genetics. Brain waves are just as genetic as the color of eyes you have. The second is physical head trauma. Anytime you hit your head, you change the way neurons and dendrites are wiring and firing. The third is emotional trauma, and I think we've all had it. The fourth is stress, and all of those things will put the brain in a dysregulated state. The first thing that we do is we see what is going on in the brain. We do a brain map. And once we have that information, we can determine what the best treatment is for people. Sometimes we'll use neuromodulation. Sometimes we'll create neuroplasticity in the brain. We'll identify the networks in the brain that are the most dysregulated and train those. Once we calm that brain down, we'll add in some cognitive behavioral therapy or some coaching to help people integrate the changes into their daily lives. We focus a lot on coaching for people that struggle with executive function, the way that their brain's working as they age, and it's interesting because as we age, our brain starts to process information differently, and maybe we find it harder to concentrate, maybe we find it harder to pay attention, and we just need to understand what's going on in the brain, what's changed, and have our own strategies and our own coping skills. People will say that they have communication difficulties and everybody can communicate. It's just that everybody processes information differently. So the way it's received by a team member may be very different than the way it was sent. We've decided that not everybody can make it into the center and we've started some brain training online and that comes with some brain coaching. At the same time, a lot of people ask questions about supplements. So we wanna be able to give good recommendations that are based on science and nutrition. All of that is now available online as well as the counseling and the regular coaching. Overcoming the stigma of mental health and showing individuals respect and acceptance removes a significant barrier to successfully coping with their illness. I sought out Lee's services for our son, Lorenzo, who needed help in his recovery from the residual effects of the stroke caused by the meningitis when he was 16 years old. Lorenzo's progress with Lee's treatments was phenomenal. The technology has developed more sophisticated equipments and softwares that allow clinicians to study the deeper structures of the brain, the neural networks that are associated with brain disorders, and the different types of advanced treatments that can be used uh, for the brain to create positive changes and function at a normal level or at its peak performance. With Lee's mentorship, I was able to obtain board certification. She showed me how to do neurofeedback and taught me what I needed to know to become board certified. She gave me the courage to do it. Neurofeedback can be life-changing. You can take someone that has crippling depression and doesn't want to live, and all of a sudden, you know, they have the joie de vivre, you know, they want to live again. You have someone with crippling anxiety who doesn't want to leave the house, and now they can get in a car and drive again. The applications are limitless, from memory recall to processing faster to even help with dyslexia. Neurofeedback is truly life-changing. An EEG evaluation entails First we take a measurement of your head and then we record your brain waves and then we process that data and make a customized protocol for you. Neurofeedback helps take people from a dysregulated state to a regulated state. And so maybe there is a task that was so insurmountable that one day it was so daunting that you couldn't do it. And then after a few rounds of neurofeedback, now you can and you get your power back. Are you ready to get results and live the life of your dreams? I think about the brain every day. And I think about by the year 2030, the World Health Organization says that brain-related diseases will be the biggest source of disability, and that's globally. I encourage people to take care of their brain just like they would their heart. And it's not that hard to do. We can help you do that. We can give you strategies. We can give you 
ideas that will get your brain in the state that you want it to be in. What excites me about the future and brain health is the recognition that we're all paying to the brain. We know how important the brain is, and what we don't know is that we are in charge and we can create the change we need. To start building your confidence today, visit the website at thebrainperformancecenter.com or see the segment again on thebalancingact.com. Another great story coming up next. Don't go anywhere. A few hours outside of downtown Dallas sits Jacksonville, Texas. The seat of Cherokee County may be small in population, but it certainly isn't lacking in interesting characters and crunchy pickles. Welcome to Gourmet Garden Specialty Foods, home to some of the true Lone Star State Originals. Gourmet Gardens is the original hand-packed Texas canning company. Pickles are the, the number one product that we sell, but we have 16 categories, 150 items, candied jalapenos, quail eggs, dill pickles, just pickled items in general. We always stick to our core values. It's all about original, old fashioned, just like grandma made. If it's an item that is sought after, we have it on our line. If it's an item that their grandmother made, we have it on our line. Our longtime best sellers are things like our pickled asparagus, our pickles, but over the recent years, we've noticed spicy pickled quail eggs are really popular. It's kind of weird, but people are really into it. Customers turn to us because we have clean, natural food, but it's also because we hand pack everything. You gotta taste them. They're, they're so good, and you don't really realize it until you taste it. Whenever we go to shows and we're trying to display our products and let people come by and try them, it makes such a difference whenever you sample it. So whenever they try it, you can just tell by the look on their face. They're just like, whoa. As a wholesaler, they primarily sell to farmers markets, truck stops, grocery stores, and the scores of old fashioned shops that dot the American landscape. These products are almost always private labeled and sold under the brand name of the store you buy them from. It gives them a great product with their own name on it, but it's a product they're not afraid to put their name on. It's practically a handmade product. The, the recipes are old school. Uh, a lot of handwork goes into this product. You know, we produce the inventory and then when we get an order, it's still gotta be customized with that private label. It's gotta go on each jar of each case, pulled out inventory, really handled one at the time. You can get pickled okra or you can get salsa just about anywhere, but you can't get our salsa or our pickled okra. But it really boils down to uh, the taste and the appearance and, and the fact that you can see that it's a unique product. Gourmet Garden Specialty Foods uses nostalgia to help sell its products. We started the company in 1991. My grandma started it. It was all her idea and my mom has been there right by her side since the beginning. My mom started helping her when she was 19, and then my first year of college, I was 19, that's whenever I started helping out. We get along really well at work. Any child, whenever they work for their parent, they have to learn how to assert themselves as an adult, which is hard. She's finally, I think, coming around to it, but we work together really well. Nowadays, you don't really get a lot of family businesses, and so it feels good knowing that we're one of the few that stuck around and then knowing that in the 90s, whenever my grandmother and my mom started this company, there's not really a lot of women run businesses back then. So knowing that my family were some of the pioneers in that makes me feel really proud. We have a kitchen full of people and tables and it's just, it's all about getting that quantity completed at the end of every day. It's almost artistic as well as the quality and the taste. They're all important and it has to look pretty, just like grandma made. That's, that's probably what I what I enjoy hearing the most, and so we, we hang on to that. That's It's so important for us to, to keep the old-fashioned, traditional, um, original taste. It's a product that succeeds in any market, in any economy. I love working with my family, our customers, love our products. That enhances our, our abilities and our desire to be here. There's just everything about the company has been positive. 31 years of it. It's just, it's, we've had a great run. For more information about Gourmet Garden Specialty Foods, go to GourmetGardens.com or go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com.
Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Balancing Act. We'll see you next time.